I am so excited, you guys. This is going to be our home for the next six weeks. I feel like Cinderella. <laughs> I have no idea how this relates to Cinderella in the slightest. No, she found the perfect slipper and we found the perfect camper van. <laughs> wow, that is a tedious link. If you saw our recent videos, we found the perfect camper van for us and our little family. And we've been so lucky to be able to rent this thing for six whole weeks, which will be the biggest trip that I think we've done as a family and the biggest trip in a long time. One thing that I am really excited about with this trip is that we have zero plans. Basically, we just aim to get over to France yep. and then we are on mainland Europe and then we can just go wherever our nose takes us. The last time we did a big van trip around Europe, we didn't have a baby. And it was great, guys. <laughs> It was so good. We just didn't know what we had. It was amazing. And I think it's definitely going to be different. But last time was so, so good. We did so many amazing things. And I think winter van life is kind of my favorite it's yeah. just a lot quieter and it's just fun it's just so fun like yeah. you have this obstacle to overcome that yeah. it's absolutely horrible outside but it would be a horrible outside where i live anyway <laughs> so we might as well see some snow and do some fun stuff we've also taken a lot of risks in the past that we can't really take this time around one of the times we did a winter van life trip it was insane what we had to put up with there was so crazy snowstorms snow yeah our van was literally buried in snow but look at it it just looks ridiculous <laughs> we had to like shovel for an hour to even see the sides of it it was so covered this van is set up for winter and we'll be able to go in very cold temperatures but the problem is if anything fails that's when it becomes an issue because when it's just us we just cuddle up warm do things that couples do oh no gosh. problems no i mean cuddle up warm and snuggle oh, right okay but with a baby we can't take those risks so we have no. to be very on it yeah otherwise we're gonna go down as those like i think we would make the bbc for being irresponsible parents <laughs> oh my god so i'm just saying let's not make the bbc well obviously i would say that's the same with any trip but not specifically with divan life <laughs> plan is to leave first thing tomorrow morning which means today we've basically just been spending the whole afternoon getting the van ready so we have nothing to do in the morning other than get ourselves out of bed and into this van and I always like this point of the trip when all of the cupboards are full of clean clothes loads of food and there's relatively little mess I give it probably a week tops until there are crumbs everywhere and clothes strewn around and mountains of laundry to be done so this is always a very nice relaxing part where all that we have to do is actually just focus on getting really excited about the trip We'd like to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, HelloFresh. When we're not on our travels, we definitely enjoy having more home-cooked meals, which is where HelloFresh comes in very handy. HelloFresh is a service that delivers pre-measured fresh ingredients directly to your doorstep. We really like to have one waiting for us when we get back from a trip so that we don't have to go to the supermarket and we don't have to worry about meal prep. One thing that I really love about HelloFresh is that it encourages us to get out of our comfort zone and not just eat the same meals week in, week out and actually try some new exciting dishes. New recipes are also always being added, so there's always something new to try. We tend to go for their quick or super quick meal options just because it's quick, uh, but today we've decided to go a little bit fancier and we've gone for the pan fried monkfish with creamy tagliatelle and this is from their premium plus range. We have a really great discount for you guys of 60% off plus an extra 25% off the next two months as well as free gifts. If you're interested in grabbing this deal, make sure you use our link which is down in the description below or scan the QR code that's on the screen right now to redeem the offer. We have been debating all morning and every van trip <laughs> involves Usually some items that we maybe shouldn't take that are too big because space is so premium. Too many items that we shouldn't take. So I have been arguing and fighting the corner and winning the corner. <laughs> 
for our big sort of all-in-one. It's like an air fryer, a slow cooker. It basically does everything. <laughs> Emma thinks it's too big to take. I think it's unnecessary. We have pots and pans. We can make do for six weeks. Van life is all about knowing yourself and predicting yourself <laughs> and I know ourselves very well and yes we do have a hob to cook on but we basically don't if there's any kind of barrier point we don't do it yeah call so, it ADHD <laughs> <laughs> so this we could just chuck our food in go out for the day come back have lovely food I'm laying down the gauntlet now basically we need to use it otherwise Emma wins <laughs> and like every time we see it it's just gonna be staring me in the face yeah. saying like loser loser you guys just wait we're gonna be living off nothing but sandwiches for the next six weeks sandwiches or restaurants mark my words <laughs> and we're off my love high five we did it six weeks starts now oh my god I'm so excited This is what we're leaving behind. What a shame. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so we are here, we're on the Euro Tunnel and within 20, 30 minutes, we're gonna be in France. And this little guy has never been on a train under the ocean before. He's never been to France either, but he's got the stripy top. We need a little beret for your head. <laughs> I'm sure we've got some baguettes somewhere laying around. <laughs> you haven't learned to be cynical yet, though. No. I don't know. I think the Brits are pretty good at that, to be fair. To France! No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's for driving, not for chewing. Bonjour. Bonjour everyone, we're here for six weeks. <laughs> now it's time to change your nursery rise to French. Oh yes, Frère Jacques. I've forgotten what it's like to go looking for a camping space especially at night time because we ended up going through the countryside and you start to think is this going to be a safe place but we've now arrived in a spot where it looks like camper vans can park there's quite a few here uh, we're trying to work out what we have to do press the screen oh parking entrance I'm being interrogated. <laughs> what? What? You Say something me. funny. Tell me. Say this. something funny. <laughs> Make them subscribe. Make them subscribe. Stop it. I literally can't see anything. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> it's awake. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't like France. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour, little bean. Happy? He's happy. <laughs> he's happy now he's not in his seat. Hey, he's speaking French. <laughs> um, I've had a nightmare. <laughs> What's the nightmare? I thought you just went for a wee. I did go for a... I did go for a wee. And uh, <laughs> I was walking, I just had this big, like, plop, and uh, I stepped into a massive puddle. I mean, this doesn't really do it justice of how cold that was. So I think we need to buy some blue cheese to cover up the smell. Oh my God. But just a soaking wet sock to start my French trip. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the shoes you brought with you as well. La Pong returns. <laughs> the Pong was always here. <laughs> so excited. Hi. 
<laughs> what do you reckon? French or English ladybird? I don't know. Either way, it's gross. It's just a dressed up bug. No, ladybug ladybugs are awesome. Kinda gross. It's still a bug. It was my favourite bug as a kid. <laughs> it's not the most conventional place to learn to walk. No, it's not. But it's pretty unique. <laughs> okay. Yes. We have woken up this morning in a very sunny, beautiful France with a view that we were not expecting of a magnificent beach. Not only that, we have paragliders dancing around in the sky for us, which is a lovely way to start. It's all going on this morning. Yeah. I found a World War II bunker just over the cliff. So I went to go and explore it and instead found a French man pooping this morning <laughs> instead so I've decided to probably not go exploring the bunker That's a bit too much arse to be seeing <laughs> especially a stranger's arse at this time of day <laughs> But unlike the pooping, how we usually start our day every time we come over to France is coffee and croissants and today is no different I am very happy and excited to be tucking in right now Although we don't actually have a plan on what we're going to do on this trip, we thought it might actually be a good idea to plan at least the end point so we know where we're going towards and that'll help us sort of decide what to do along the way. So we have stopped here at this lovely little day spot with a lovely view of a little lake and we thought this would be a really nice spot to actually just sit down, do a bit of research and try and decide where our end point is going to be. I guess what we're trying to decide is what do we fancy? Because there seems to be a few obvious options. Yeah. So we can either go to the Alps. I love the Alps. Which loads of fun so stuff fun. to do. Yeah. Especially this time of year, there's loads of like winter sports activities that we could be getting up to. And there's not going to be that much snow around for that much longer. So if we want to do that, now is our chance to go and do it. But on the flip side, we have a little baby, so we can't really be going skiing, but we could take it in turns. So True. I'll look after Noah, Emma goes skis. Yeah. Emma looks after Noah, I go ski. That sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, it does. Uh, another option is that we could go and chase the sun. We have never done that no. with the van. Yeah, we always, every time we do these winter series, we always have some of you guys commenting, being like, why are you not going somewhere warmer? And maybe you have a point. And we've already put up <laughs> with a very wet winter in yeah, the UK. A lot of so coldness. We could drive to Spain and go after the sun. Yeah. I think these seem to be the two main options. Let us know, guys, if you were asked, what would you do? Would you go chasing the sun or would you go chasing the snow? And factor in, you have a tiny little baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think two very indecisive people. Yes. What a combo. Leaving our decisions <laughs> up to the last minute is always going to be a recipe for disaster. It sounds so romantic though. Before you set off like, let's go on a trip with no plans and just throw heat to the wind and go. <laughs> but actually, then you just end up sitting around twiddling your thumbs thinking, what should we do next? <laughs> I think basically it's like, don't have a rigid plan where you have to be somewhere every single day. Yeah. 
but just somewhere to go. Yeah, like a point to the trip, you yes. know? Yeah, so it's not completely pointless. So let us know down in the comments, where would you like to see us go? And click the link in the description if you're interested in HelloFresh. Give it a big fat thumbs up. Thumbs up. And nothing left to say. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see, see you next time. time and beans, beans out. out.